Indeed. Um, great honor and happy to meet uh, all people here. Uh, I apologize. I think uh, for two years, invite me, but not materialize. Uh, but sometimes my secretaries, you see, without ask me, you see, they send answer. <laughs> of course, it is understandable. You see, they can say, you see, too much busy, too, too many sort of that visit here and there. But sometimes they can say about it, my city uh, hat or something like that. So, in any way, so recently, uh, one of my long time uh, Christian I think very, very important. We too much emphasis the secondary level of differences. Look, a lot of problems, not only in the past. 
past human history, but even today, a lot of problem. Essentially, our own creation on the basis with too much emphasis on the secondary level of differences, including religious in different faith or different nation. If we come down basic level, humanity hardly there's no basis to cooperate, to kill each other. So today we really need a sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. I think we really need. I think nature also now telling us you should act as the same humanity, one humanity, the global warming. You see, not making distinction, this nation, that nation, people who follow this faith or that faith, no. And now global economy also is beyond religious faith. Boundary or religious faith, and beyond the national boundary. So, because of population increased, when I first uh, came to India as a refugee, then you should, we used to say six billion human beings. Right. Oh. Now, seven billion. According to some. Some sort of the professors, they say, uh, end of this century, human population will be 10 billion. Even now, 7 billion. A lot of poor people. Huge gap, which is poor. Mm. So, in this huge gap, which is poor, not only morally wrong, but practically also, this is also a problem. So now, uh, time comes, we have to consider entire human beings, member of same human family. I think that's very, very important. So wherever I go, wherever I meet people, I always talk to them. And also, I myself consider, when I met with the people, uh, I am talking to another human being. I myself also should consider another human being. I never consider myself something different as a Buddhist or as a Tibetan. And especially, I never consider I am His Holiness Dalai Lama. <laughs> I never. Just a simple human being. If we too much emphasis on secondary level of differences, then automatically we distance each other. We need trust. Uh, trust, you see, in this case, is very much relevant because of that, very much based on sense of oneness of human being. Otherwise, you see, oh, we are different. Religiously, and also national or some other. And within the same faith, same religion, same nation, same nationality, still rich and poor, educated, uneducated. One incident, I think, uh, I think in Bombay. No, 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 I think somewhere, in England maybe, or somewhere, somewhere, no, I can't remember, some Indian officials uh, with his wife and Kasa, uh, one lady who looked after their car, car, nanny, no? As I usually, usually I, I, I practice, uh, shake hands uh, at the gentleman and then wife. Then the, the lady is who look after the, ch the child. I I have some my because of the hand. She hesitated. She said to her. Then I had to walk. 
all my cheers. So therefore, you see, these things are, and then this country, Bharat, great nation. I always tell him, Kasachuk, uh, Egyptian civilization and Kasachuk, Indus Valley civilization, the Chinese civilization, as far as I know, this is among these three civilizations. In this very sort of civilization, the original sort of the basis of Indian civilization. Now, this civilization, uh, I think, really produced uh, remarkable thinkers and philosophers among the Hindus, among the Jains, among the Buddhists. As far as I know, the Nalanda masters, all are. Indian, great logicians, their logic, wonderful, because of that. And also, you see, their knowledge about mind, we may call the psychologist, psychologist, really remarkable. And even within Buddhist, different school of thought, a lot of argument, a lot of debate, use logical approach, logical sort of argument. Wonderful. So as far as psychology is concerned, now many Western scientists, brain specialists or psychologists, and also medical medical scientists, now they're really showing genuine sort of eagerness to learn from ancient Indian psychology. These things. So this, many of these Malay masters really they have created something very, very special. So this industrial civilization, I think, I think really made because of the significant sort of impact in human intelligence. Well, I think. So they have all I usually you see telling where I met Indian. You are Guru. We are Chela. Um, one Tibetan scholar. I think 14th century, or 14th, 14th, 15th century. 
he wrote uh, that one on poetry. Uh, he, he, he mentioned Tibet, land, uh, land of snow. So the major color of snow is white, bright. Then he mentioned higher. Still, India's light reached Tibet. Tibet dark. Only after India's light reached Tibet, then Tibet became bright. Yes, yes, yes. So I always say, consider you Indian. Historically, traditionally, our guru. They are children. And meantime, I also, you see, mentioning I jokingly you say, telling Indian, we are not only chela, but also reliable chela. <laughs> <laughs> that means the knowledge of Nalanda in your own place now almost disappear. Uh, but the knowledge of Nalanda masters we kept over thousands years. Intact. So it is quite sufficient reason to say reliable chela. <laughs> Isn't it? So, so you, uh, uh, and then those most sort of scholars or masters of Nalanda come from South India. So sometimes I, I teasing from my Indian friends or. Uh, South Indian brain is better than Northern Indians. <laughs> so, so in any way, so, so then, then also you see, I teasing India. Uh, ancient Indians were our guru, not modern Indian. <laughs> I think frankly speaking, you see, you a little bit neglected about you see these rich Indian sort of uh, knowledge. Right. So now I always tell you, when I uh, meet Indians on top, you have the opportunity and ability and potential combine modern knowledge through modern education and ancient Indian knowledge about inner world. Modern knowledge very much related with, very much sort of oriented about material way. Ancient Indian knowledge very much oriented about our inner way. Now, now basically, you see, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of problem which we are facing is actually, you see, the lack of knowledge. 